let's talk about how to make your ebook temporarily free and some reasons why you should consider doing that and maybe some reasons why you shouldn't do that. <laughs> today I just want to talk to you about how to set your ebook up as temporarily free and like I said maybe some reasons that it would be good for your business and maybe some reasons why it wouldn't work for you depending on where you are in your author career. I'm gonna jump onto my computer screen in a second here and walk you through all the steps. It's super easy. It's gonna be a short video today but really quick let's talk about why this might be a good thing for your career or maybe why it's not quite the right time for it yet. Really quick before we go into it, I just want to say there's no right or wrong way to do marketing. Like we're all learning and different things are going to work for some people better than they do for other people. Certain strategies just might not work for you. So I want you to really, I want to explain the logic to you and help you guys really understand the why behind this so you can know if it's right for you. So logically, when you look at a free book from a reader's perspective, it's a no brainer, right? Like, yeah, that's a good idea. That sounds awesome. Who doesn't like free things? So that side is obvious. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the author perspective and um, you've put all your time and your energy and just months or years of hard work into this book and then you're supposed to give it away for free? Like what? That seems crazy, right? Well, it is a little bit painful, but you have to look at it from a return on investment perspective. For example, if you have a series anywhere from two or more books, then a freebie is something that's basically like a lead book and it leads readers into the rest of the series. So while your first book is free, they're actually, it's leading people to buy, you know, book two and maybe book three, four, five, six, you name it. Um, and then that is at full price. So basically, even though you are giving away your first book for free, you are eventually, you should have some return on investment because they'll buy your second book and all the books after that. So you can kind of see right off the bat how if this is your only book for sale and you don't have any other books out there that they can be led into after reading your first book, even if it's not a series, if you have other books to buy, if they like your uh, writing style, if there's nothing else out there to buy, then I personally don't think that a freebie is actually a good idea for you just yet. You guys are probably like, hold up, wait a second. Um, Bethany, you have a freebie going on right now for your first book, Evelyn's Number. And yes, I do actually, but hold that thought. This is actually not the only book I have for sale. I actually have two books for sale now. Pearl's Number is the second book in the series and it's available for pre-order on Amazon. So I have a lead book here that convinces people to buy, gets them into the story, gets them excited, and then this is the book that they can move into from this one and purchase the second book in the series. So I do have two books for sale. So if I didn't have this book, if this was not for sale and all I had was Evelyn's number, then I don't think a freebie would be a good idea because once people finish this book, they're done. There's nothing else to read. They can't go anywhere, but when they finish this book now, I have in the front and in the back on the ebook, a link to Pearl's number. And if you're like me and you're an emotional reader and you just are like, well, I really liked this book, so I'm going to go buy this guy now. That's exactly why the freebie works. That's the logic behind using it for a series. I hope that makes sense to you guys. A freebie is ultimately good for the sell through factor. And if you're not making any money off of it at all, then it's not worth it. But if you can find another way to make money from it, such as the other books that it promotes, then I do think it's worth it. Another thing I'd recommend doing is waiting until your series is complete. Because if you think about it, a freebie probably isn't going to work very well more than once. I mean, just think about it again using logic. Like you might have a few new eyes on your work if you do another freebie. But generally, if you've done one in the past, then anybody who wanted a freebie has already gotten it. So there's just not that many more people that are going to want it. They've already jumped on that train, so to speak. In my opinion, then it makes sense to wait to do a freebie until you have your last book in the series for sale because of that sell through. So I have only two books in the number series. This is a duology. So I decided to do the freebie on Evelyn's number so that they could buy Pearl's number. This is fun to do. <laughs> This is the last book in the series, but if I had, you know, six or seven books or more, I would wait until the last book to do 
the freebie. But since I only have two books and this is currently all I want to write in this series for the moment, we'll see, never know. But for the moment, this is the last book. So I decided that this is the perfect time to do a freebie. So if you're watching this between August 29th and September 2nd, you can go to Kindle right now and get Evelyn's number for free. If it's past that time, I'm sorry. It's still available. It's still linked below. It's just not free anymore. If that wasn't my last book in the series, I could still discount it and have very similar effects because if you discount your first book, then you still can have that lead into the rest of the series. And you can do a discount every time you have a new release. That's really smart marketing. And I do wanna talk about discounts in a second because in the exact same place where you can do a freebie, there is the option to do a temporary discount as well. The second thing a freebie does, it can also raise awareness and visibility for your book. So I really personally think that it's awesome to maximize on this and do other things to also raise awareness during the free promotion. There's so many different things you could do like Facebook ads, Amazon ads, uh, your newsletter or guest posting or just social media galore. Um, but one of the things that I decided to do was actually hold a giveaway. So anybody who shares the free ebook, shares Avalon's number during this time period of the free ebook promotion is automatically entered to win a signed paperback of Evelyn's number. So making your ebook free basically gets people to buy other books in the series or other books by you in general, and it also raises awareness for you and visibility for your book. But if you're not ready to do a free book just yet or at all, then a price promotion can be almost as effective because it has the same aspects where it gets people excited and leads them into your series, and it also raises awareness and visibility too. Price promotions, just like your freebie, should be temporary because it'll make people jump on it. Okay, let's jump on over to my computer screen and I'll walk you guys through how to set this up. Okay, so this is the Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP website. You're gonna go to your bookshelf and I'm not gonna walk you through how to upload your book because I've done that in other videos, but once you have your book, you're gonna go over to this section, the Promote and Advertise, or you can click the little dots and you can click the Promote and Advertise option. And once you click on that, it's going to take you over to this page. Um, you'll see a bunch of different options. The first thing I want to mention is you do have to be enrolled in KDP Select um, to do price promotions and run ads, I believe. So you can, if you haven't already, uh, enroll in the KDP Select, and you can see I'm enrolled already. And then you'll scroll down on this page, and you'll see on the left here is your price promotion section. And they have two options. You've got your Kindle countdown deal, and then you have your free book promotion. And so I've done the free book promotion, so it's not gonna let me do it again because I already enrolled in it. And you can see down here below, here's my book promotion. It's going on right now, Wednesday, August 29th through September 2nd of 2018 and that is scheduled right now as I'm making this video but once this video is live it is going on so right now it's not going to let me redo the free book promotion but all you have to do is click on it and set up your dates to enroll and then like I mentioned this one right above it is the Kindle countdown deal and for Kindle countdown basically um, you have the option to set your book at a really low price and then as the days go on, say it's five days, you maybe you set it at 99 cents, then the next day it goes up to $1.99, the next day $2.99, the next day $3.99, and so on. And what they'll do is they'll ask you to set up your time frame and for that current amount of time, it'll let readers know this book is at a discounted price and you can only get it for so long. So that's a really, really helpful thing to do as well. Um, so again, pick which one works for you. You do have to be enrolled in KDP to do these. And I really think that it's worth your time and it's worth your effort. And if you want to, you can hop on over to the right side here where it says create an ad campaign and you could run an ad campaign during your countdown or during your free book promotion if you want to. And then you'll notice that you can click learn more to figure out more about these. And if you want to know more details, uh, KDP is really good about 
just explaining everything. So that's it guys. That is how you set up a free book promotion or a price promotion for your ebook. And like I said, obviously you can see it's very, very easy. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Okay guys, that's everything. I hope you got something out of this video. Drop a comment below if you have ever gotten an ebook for free yourself, because I'm curious how many people have done this in the past. And definitely let me know if you have gone and gotten Evelyn's number for free, because I'm so excited. All the links to my books are below, as well as my newsletter and website if you want to sign up to find out about more price promotions, free things, and giveaways, and just fun stuff in general in the future. Make sure to sign up for my newsletter. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell next to it, and I think that's everything. You never know, because there's so many awesome things, but I think that's everything. I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!